Morning news lot. We're um, off for a walk today. As you can see, it's flipping lovely. What a glorious day. It's like a, sp a spring day. It's cracking, really nice. Got my old tit for tat on, my old deer stalker, okay, my bow sticking up nicely. But uh, we're going to go for a walk around Chu Valley Lake. I mean, Chu Valley Lake campsite. And, uh, or Chu Valley campsite, I should say. In the old bus. And uh, got the cameras out today. I'm taking the 90D again. Give the old 5D a go tomorrow. But um, got the 80D on my cotton carrier chest rig. And I'm taking my uh, tripod today because it's a huge lake. There'll be some water fowl there. And uh, we get some nice phot photographs. Sammy's just getting all the camera kit together. And uh, we're getting ready to take some fantastic photographs, hopefully. The weather is lovely, the light is fantastic, it's really warm. I've got too much clothing on, but you can always take it off if you've got it on. You can't put it on if you ain't got it, right? So, I've got a map of the area where we're going to, bought out the shop for a couple of quid. A lot of these campsites do this, local ramblers or the local um, walkers societies make the maps up. And print them off and leave them in the campsites, local campsites and places like that. And they charge two pounds for them. And a pound goes to the charity that makes the um, the map up. So it's worthwhile going for that. And um, I'll use it and I'll put it in Gladys, in the cupboard in Gladys. So I hope you enjoy this little video today. As I say, it's going to be a bit of a walk of the local area, show you what it's about. Um, so take some photographs and uh, see what wildlife we can see. Oh, there's a lovely chippy up the road, apparently. Salt and malt up the road, it's called. And we're going to go and have a bit of, uh, bit of lunch in there. Happy days. Okay, so see you in a little while when we're having a walk. And I hope you enjoy this video. Keep watching. See you soon. So we just found some deer here. Um, you can tell it's deer. And I think it's fallow because of the how soft it is. It's been scratching itself on one of these trees here. But if you pull it, it snaps in half like so. Okay. And that's because it's hollow, which insulates the deer. That's how you can tell it's not like a muntjac or something that comes from a hot climate and introduced deer because it's cold because of the insulative properties of the fur when it's like that, when it's hollow. Cool, eh? We're on the Bristol Water Bitten Trail now. At the moment, it looks like we're going onto the Grebe Trail. We're on the edge of this big lake. Just seen a gold crest. There's some mallards around here. It's a little bridge. We're walking down towards the cafe cafe area fish and chip shop for lunch hopefully we can get in there uh, bins I always like to see bins there's bins everywhere here and they're emptied so we we'll just carry on walking We're right on the edge of True Valley Lake now. It's absolutely beautiful here. Well nice. Massive reed bed habitat. Lots of uh, it's like crack willow out there on, on the shoreline. The lake is massive. Just see a gold crest. And uh, habitat looks fantastic for them here because of right behind us there's a lot of these pine. So this is what they like. We're going to walk down that little track there now, see if we can see some more. But, uh, yeah, it's really nice. Back in place.
pick up your poo, put it into the litter bins. Into the litter bins. Hang in the tree. JP's pet hate. Right, we're at the next car park where there is a restaurant called the Salt and Malt. It's a chippy. We've got our uh, takeaway bit here. Haddock and chips and cob and chips, thank you very much. Let's see how many times. Very nice it is too. Can't think of anything better. A nice fish and chip picnic by that lake. Look at that, it's glorious sunshine. Really nice here. I looked at the reviews online last night for this place, looked really good. So here's a kiddies uh, playground over there. Nice big car park. The bridge there goes right the way across to the other side of the lake. All the way around, apparently it's four hours walk. My little legs, eight. Hussein Bolt, two. Look, there's some nice water birds out there. We're gonna go and see if we can get some photographs. Got some nice pictures of some gulls, black-headed gulls. Love them, they're great characters. There's a lot of them sitting on a fence. Let's take some photographs. We're fine over here now, aren't we? Lovely. Mmm. Yum yum. Then that's cotton chips. Pelican chips. Mmm. Okay. Oh, Do you reckon of that? What go then? I'm fine, thank you. I'm just a bit, a bit of wet, being a Watching out for the gulls, because the there's black-headed gulls around here. And, uh, as Andrew and Ray know, seagulls are animuses for food. Right, fish and chips up. That was lovely. Really nice fish and chips that. I mean, large cod was comparably to other fish and chips not shops, not not great big thing, but if you're not a big eater, that was really nice fish and chips, I've asked to be said. Um, perfect size for me, but um, really nice. We're just gonna come over onto this little bit of shoreline here. Behind me here. Because there's a lot of, um, Shorebirds sitting around there, some Canada geese, there's some s last year's swan cygnets, bits and bobs. So, see what we can get, get some few photographs, and uh, I'll stick them up. Just uh, come down to this little area, there's loads of shorebirds, blackhead, gulls, mallards, a couple of herring gulls, there's a young swan, 
I was just saying to Sammy about um, should have brought some bird food down so we could get some get them moving around get some birds in flight shots but um, there's luck with that a bit some mums have just turned up with some little children and they're feeding the birds for us happy days oh this little pile wagtail just flew across there to see him it's right on the edge over there um, yeah so we get some nice birds in flight shots some ducks having a bath so um, it's really nice I'll turn around and show you The lake's huge, look. It's a huge lake. Nice little photo shoot opportunity. These are good little ideas. Like a little semicircular seating area right opposite the reed beds. It's a really nice idea. A picnic bench, keeps out the wind. You've got this beautiful view over this fantastic habitat. Lots and lots of birds. So we're going to go over to this where you see the. You see that where the sun's coming through that. Those reed heads there. We're going to go over there. And have a little look, you never know what you might see in a reed bed. Bearded tits would be nice. But, um, some birds they change from being insectivorous during the summertime when there's lots of insects about, and then when it hits the winter time, and you know, the insects fall off, they change their eating habits and turn into seed eaters. And the bearded tit is one of those. So we keep your eyes open. That's lovely, lovely habitat. Beautiful day. Well worth a visit. kneeling down on the edge of a lake now there's a pair of grebes great crested grebes I'll see if I can get some shots for you but they're just in the lake I'll spin you around so you can have a little look just in front of you there beautiful birds one of my favourites swimming around this little bit so get a bit of few photographs of them. Beautiful looking babies. Google great crested grebe babies. Wow they're beautiful. Um, I'll get some shots and get back to you. Just for a bit of interest here, it's a scarlet elf cup. It's a fungi. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
I'm not going to explain to you why it's called a uh, Scarlet Elf Cup. But, uh, yeah. Stunning. The Scarlet Elf Cup Fungi. Beautiful. So, we're on Grebe Walk now. I think. Walking around the back of the lake, just spoke to a, a lady and a gentleman, and they said there's a hide around here. But we're gonna have a little walk around this bit, and then we're gonna head off uh, for today, and then come back and do the whole of this side of the lake tomorrow. So I'll probably do that in a separate video. It's a nice bit of a alder there. A bit of carving, um, yeah. Probably do that tomorrow. Get the other half in of the lake and do that as a separate video. But uh, had a good day today. So far, we've got the great crested grebes, tufted ducks. We've got gold crest, Jenny wrens, mallards, blackhead gulls. Juvenile swan, juvenile herring gull, herring gull. Yeah, it's been good. I'm sure I can hear a kingfisher. Uh, yeah, get back to you in a bit. So we just found this hide. Uh, we're going to come and scout this area out tomorrow. Give it a good proper going over because it's fantastic. But see an old couple and they said there's a couple of gazanders here which are a toothed duck a fishing duck a little teeth this is lovely here wow beautiful views of the lake So I think we're going to walk all the way around that tomorrow. I think there's a path that goes right the way around. Now that reed bed goes all the way around that lake. Right the way around. Right the way around to there. Sort of here. I think. And then there's patches onwards, but that's a massive, massive reed bed. It's going to be fantastic. For birds. Time here and get some photographs. It's True Valley Lake. Been out most of the day now, the sun's sort of going down, got beautiful light. But uh, we're going to head back now. I'll flip, I'll flip and said that about ten times so far, we keep seeing something else. Just see some gold, uh, gold crests again. Uh, what's that? Hang on. 
see some gold crests again there's loads of bird life on this lake beautiful we're gonna come and do that half tomorrow um, but we're gonna head back now just had a woodpecker didn't get a photograph but got a sight of it uh, wrens I'm sure it's a chiff chaff we got gold nine out Yeah, it's really nice. So we're gonna head back now. Anyway, I hope you like this video of that little walk we've had today. And like the photographs. It's a nice little place. Good for people uh, in wheelchairs or elderly people with with scooters because it's lots of nice flat paths that are scooterable. That's a word. Wheelchair access everywhere. I mean, not to this hide. I mean, the hide they could do with lower windows to be fair, but the hide's quite accessible. But yeah, all in all, really nice day out, nice walk. So take care and uh, join us tomorrow for Chew Valley Lake Part 2. See you later.